Um, and what I'm telling you about now is a story that you probably already heard. It's that horrific. And it happened as of me recording this two days ago on the 28th of February. Uh, this is this story is coming from the Indy Star from Indiana. Okay, a teen slaughtered his family, police say. The father's last words were, I love you, by Justin L. Mack from the Indianapolis Star. The horror on Adam Street began with an argument that plays out in nearly every American family with a teenager, a battle over staying out too late. This one, though, didn't end in a grounding or scolding. Police and prosecutors say it ended in the worst mass killing in Indianapolis in more than a decade. A family, mom dead, two siblings, a pregnant teen and her unborn child, less than a week from entering the world, were slaughtered. Another brother escaped and tried to buy his life with $40. He was shot and left for dead, but became the, same, the sole survivor of the massacre. According to that surviving 15-year-old, his father's last words to the son who allegedly killed him were, I love you. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office announced Thursday that Raymond Ronald Lee Childs III has been formally charged with six counts of murder, attempted murder, and carrying a handgun without a license in Marion County. At just 17 years old, Childs cannot be put to death, but he could face up to life in prison if he is found guilty of the murders. The 17-year-old was arrested Monday at the home of a relative just one day after his family was found slain in the near north side home they shared. Kesey Childs, 42, Raymond Childs, 42, Elijah Childs, 18, Rita Childs, 13, Kara Hawkins, 19, and her unborn baby boy were pronounced dead after being found in the home shortly before 4 a.m. Sunday. Officials said Hawkins was in a relationship with Elijah Childs. The other victims were all immediate family. I think they're dead. According to Oct to court documents released Thursday, IMPD officers were called to the 3300 block of East 36th Street shortly before 4 a.m. Sunday on report of a person shot. Police found a 15-year-old suffering from multiple gunshot wounds on the front porch of a home. The boy was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Before being rushed into surgery, the boy told police that he had been shot by his own brother, the young, younger Raymond Childs. When asked about his parents, the 15-year-old told police he shot them. I think they're dead. Police found the front door of the teen's home open inside the two-story brick house they found five victims. Every member of the child's family found in the residence was pronounced dead at the scene. Hawkins was taken to Escanaza Hospital where she was later pronounced dead. Her baby boy, just a week shy of his due date, was delivered via emergency cesarean section but was declared dead upon delivery. Court documents said Raymond and Kesey Childs died from multiple gunshot wounds to the torso, Elijah Childs and Kiara Hawkins died from single gunshot wounds to the head, and Rita Childs died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. An autopsy of an unborn child determined that he died due to his mother being shot. He was full term. Please don't kill me. By Sunday afternoon, the 15-year-old boy had survived surgery at Riley Hospital for Children. According to court documents, he told police in separate interviews that Childs had gotten into trouble that night for leaving the house without permission. The teen said he was downstairs with his parents when his father asked him for some water. As he filled the bottle in the bathroom, he heard two gunshots followed by his little sister yelling, Raymond shot Elijah. Court documents said the teen heard another gunshot. His father said, I'm sorry, Raymond, I love you. Another six or seven shots went off. The 15-year-old said he ran out of a side door when the shooting stopped, but his brother chased him down. The teen pleaded with his big brother. Court documents said, I can give you 50, I'm sorry, $40. I won't say nothing. Please don't kill me. 
The shooting victim told investigators that his brother looked at him before shooting him in the leg and arm with a Draco 762. He said child was then fired at his head but missed. The teen ran to a neighbor's house and banged on the door for help. Police later found four 7.62 cartridge casings and money covered with blood near that spot. At the house on Adam Street, police found eight fired 9mm cartridge casings, six fired 7.62 cartridge casings, a 9mm handgun, and a box of 7.62 ammunition. Tracking Raymond Friends and family told police that 17-year-old Raymond Childs III was the only family member who lived at the home who was not accounted for. Neighbors also said a white Chrysler with fancy rims was not at the home. They soon found that Chrysler at the home of Childs' girlfriend. Girl, yeah. Police made contact with the girlfriend following a traffic stop. She told police that Childs went to her home her house to spend the night Saturday, court documents said. He got a phone call from his father telling him to go home, and he did. Childs returned to his girlfriend's house between 2 and 3 a.m. Sunday during driving a white Chrysler she had never seen before. Childs had two bags of clothes with him and told his girlfriend that his dad kicked him out. About 30 minutes later, the girlfriend got alerts on her phone about the shootings at 36th Street and Adams Street. Child said he didn't know anything about the incidents. The girlfriend later convinced Child to go home, to go back home, after talking to his other family members, court documents said. She told police that Child was nervous, and when they got there, he began crying and acted a clown. Family members who came to Indianapolis told Childs told police Childs said some people from the next block committed the killings. However, the family members noticed that Childs was armed with a Draco firearm that belonged to his father. The family members took the gun from Childs and provided it to investigators. Police also obtained a search warrant for the girlfriend's car and found an AK style magazine wrapped in clothes containing 30 rounds of 7.62 ammunition. Police later determined that all of the shell casings found at the scene Sunday came from the 9mm found at the home of the Draco and the Draco 7.62 given to police. Police arrested Childs without incident at the home of a relative on Monday. You're just heartbroken. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears said Thursday, that the age of the suspect puts his office in a unique procedural posture. Indiana law says that 17-year-olds who are charged with murder must be tried as an adult. However, they are not eligible for the death penalty. Mears said the next phase of the investigation includes assessing child's mental state as well as looking at what past incidents may have built to Sunday's violence. I think it's important to recognize that this case is really in its infancy. We've been working on this for 96 hours, Mears said. Mears said the case has taken its toll on the family, the community, and the investigators. His office is now focusing on doing all they can to assist the family through the pursuit of justice. You're just heartbroken. Not only did so many people lose their lives, but you think about that family and what they were anticipating, Mir said. The baby was due in a week. Okay, it adds, call Indie Star reporter Justin L. Mack, and you can also follow him on Instagram. Okay, that was a pretty long article. Uh, my condolences to the family and all their friends and relatives. Um, it took me approximately nine and a half minutes to read it. And basically, what I want to say about it is what I've always said about, well, not always, but a lot of things are happening. You can't help but have noticed it. And I know that I have told you before what my daughter told me, that if you want to get high in the occult world, what you need to do is kill at least one of your parents. 
Now, she told me that maybe about 15 years ago. And I did listen to her because soon after that, she moved out. And sometimes it is better that you let your children leave rather than if they are doing something that might put them, that is definitely putting them in harm's way long term and putting you also in harm's way. But there are a lot of channels, well I don't know if it's a lot, but I have seen a few channels on YouTube that tell people that it's good to contact these spirits and that they will give you information. Some of them will say, oh yeah, you need to contact your ancestors. Okay, now, nobody really wants to die. I don't even think people who commit suicide necessarily want to die. What they want is a certain situation, a certain painful situation that they're in to, to leave. If they could get out of whatever it is that is terrifies, terrifying them and making them feel bad, then they would not want to leave. So these death cults, and there are death cults, they are even spoken of somewhat in the Bible. It says basically that he who hates God loves death. Doesn't necessarily mean they love their death that they love death period. But the point I'm making is that there are a lot of, well, let me not say a lot again, especially since things have been purged. But I know that there are channels on YouTube and probably elsewhere that tell people that it's a good thing to try to contact your spirit leaders and ancestor worship and all that. And a lot of things can seem tempting, that they can give you answers. Maybe they can short term. But the ultimate end of all of it is always death. The devil is always hungry for souls. And the situation that the world is in now is such that people don't really trust their religious leaders anymore. Um, they don't really... People associate the religious leaders with the Bible to the extent that if they find out the religious leader is fake or false or has flaws, they figure the Bible has got to be wrong too. But the two are very different things. And as I've said in other videos that even the prophets were human. They made mistakes. So just because a person who represents something is flawed doesn't mean that the Bible itself is flawed. The interpretation can most definitely be flawed, but you still, bottom line, only have two ways to go. You can only follow the Most High or the Most Low. The Most High told you to follow Him. You have to go through His Son, not your husband, not some guy who looks good or is good or whatever. You can only go through Him. If you do anything else, you are worshiping that person, that substance, that whatever it is. Now, I don't know a lot about video games, but I know my oldest daughter, the one who said, hey, if you want to get high in the occult world, you need to kill one of your parents. She was very much involved with um, video games, and everything down here is corrupt and has to be watched. And I do truly apologize to the Most High that I didn't think that, I didn't know that. I didn't know how corrupt everything is. But the way things are going, especially in the black community, our children have been kind of left alone. The millennials. I mean, I'm a, like I've said before, I'm like the end of the baby boomers. But I know that there were certain things on TV like Bewitched and what is it, Leave It to Genie and stuff that may have been an introduction to the occult, but it was not blatant the way it was then. And we also had the, we had, we still had the church. Even if you felt that certain things were not quite, quite right, it still gave you a moral basis that our young people or people in general just don't have now. So this is my long-winded way of saying 
stay away from the occult. If there is any kind of a spirit or something or something whispering in your ear telling you to go against what the Most High is saying, it basically hates you. It wants you to do something so horrible that you cannot turn to the Most High. So I've heard people talk about contact this. I know I heard about Papa Ligba and all that other stuff. I don't get too much into it because I know if it's not from the Most High, it's from the Most Low. No matter how beautiful it may seem, it's poison to you. It means to kill you. It means to make you go out and do something horrible. So, this is not the only thing that I've seen. I just recently saw another story where a um, a young man, 22 years old, shot his mother in the head because she told him to go to the job. Okay, I do truly believe that these are the last days and the most important thing we can do is to solidify and strengthen our relationship with the Most High. But be watchful out there because the devil really does walk around as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Now another thing, probably other people will point out certain things about the numbers in this story, even their address. Their ad the address they gave you, I know I saw something about a thirty three they lived at thirty three. Yeah, 3300 block. Now you know 33 is the highest degree of Freemasonry. And 36 is the number for the beast. Also, the parents' um, ages, 42, 42, even this one, 18 is 3 times 6. 13 is another occult number. 19 is a number of total, something like total destruction or something. So, if this was shortly before 4 a.m., that means it was something about 3 a.m., like maybe 3.58, but that number is still there. Now, I don't know that much about Gematria. Again, the same daughter who told me about, if you want to get high in the occult world, you need to kill a parent. She was into Gematria, and I kind of believe that that is part of a devil worship or something. Also, I had another person tell me, not me, I've never been high in my life, but I had another person tell me they tried to get high on some weed, and they would never do it again because they kept looking out at the snow, seeing numbers, just random numbers just going everywhere. So, I don't, I just want to warn you as best I can that just because something looks interesting and even though it might even get you have you noticed how many rappers are dying they may have made a lot of money in a short amount of time but they're not getting to spend it so this is definitely to me I think that this is the end and the end I have no idea how long the end is is it months is it years beats me but I think that you can see like the Bible says like labor pains things are just getting closer and closer and harder and stranger so my my motherly advice is as it always is be prayerful be prayerful walk with the most high and do 